And while I have been educated in the school of modern medicine, the epitome of scientific knowledge, I cannot deny the energy I feel emanating from the spirits of those who are ill. And from that which dwells deep within me. I soften my eyes. I relax my ears. I quiet my mind and allow the energy to permeate my very being. The spirits raise my skills to a higher plane. And I awaken to my true self. Oh. It's no use. I, I can't understand any of this. It says the five-pointed star is a symbol of life. But when I look at it, it simply reminds me of a piece of okra in a bowl of gumbo. Hmm? That's random. I guess the healing touch just isn't for an ordinary person like me. This door is no good. It's been totally warped by the snow. I guess it can't be helped. This hospital isn't exactly new. Well, this door isn't used very often, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hmm? I suppose we should still call and have it repair. Is something wrong? Uh, oh, my... my stomach. Director? Director! Let's see. Your amylase count is good, your pancreas is functioning normally, your white blood cell count is fine, and I don't see any problems with your immune system. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Just let me know if you think you're recovering too quickly. I can change some of these numbers and extend your vacation. No, that's okay, doctor. I'd like to return to work as soon as possible. Although, once I've fully recovered, I do have another favor to ask. Marcus! Director Hoover just collapsed! What? He has multiple tumors in his small intestine, and they've already reached a fairly advanced stage. I've stabilized him with an IV and a blood transfusion, but he needs to be operated on right away. Why did he let his condition get so bad? If only he had taken better care of himself. He kept all his troubles and worries bottled up inside, not wanting to burden anyone with his problems. Standing around wondering why won't do him any good. We need to focus on the procedure. The CAT scan, we the objective of this operation. It's progressed this far. I'm, I'm concerned about his physical condition. He's not young. You're the only ones who can... Don't worry. You can... That's right. He's in good hands. She can't do the healing touch, so I'll having her there. It takes. Let's start the procedure. As usual, picking the woman is the bad idea. Let's begin the... The tumors are located in the small intestine. Good luck. The area is a little inflamed. Use the syringe to inject the anti-inflammatory directly into the inflamed area. Inflammation treatment complete. Let's continue with the remainder of the operation. We found a tumor. Let's use the power procedure here. been removed. Please treat the area where you made the excision. It looks like that's everything, but his vitals aren't stabilizing. I wonder if the preliminary scan missed anything. I'm preparing the magnification tool. Use it to search the area thoroughly. Hmm. 
There's one over here? It's progressed much further than we expected. We need to extract them all. Extracted. Now to treat the area around the excision. When we're done here, we should check out some other areas. are decreasing. It spread much more than we anticipated. There are no further signs of tumors. Please remember to treat the remaining. His vitals are stable. I think we're okay now. I was pretty worried at one point, though. Please close him up. The operation is complete. I'm sure the director will recover quickly. That was, fa that was uh, I thought there was going to be a little bit more drama than that, but okay. Great work, everyone. We were able to remove all the tumors from your small intestine, sir. You should be up and around in about a week or so, but... But it is unclear whether or not the procedure was successful. Yes? My mother also suffered from tumors. It appears the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Sir, I strongly recommend that you take some time off to recuperate. Perhaps you could undergo treatment somewhere in a warmer climate. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Blaylock, but I've already made up my mind. As you know, I have been planning to close this hospital for some time now. Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock, you two should return to Concordia. What the fuck are they gonna do without a hospital there? That's really weird. What, is it gonna be a coffee place? Is it gonna be a Starbucks? Shit, shit, there's no, not short of action in this hospital people just be showing up out of nowhere fighting bears and shit he's gonna be like oh sorry you gotta drive another 20 to 30 minutes say have you heard they're building a new university hospital in fairbanks knowing that a top-rate facility will be located nearby makes my decision much easier to live with this hospital and i have grown old together I believe it's time for both of us to retire. Congratulations, you're recovering extremely well. I don't see any problems with your pancreas. You're free to return to LA whenever you're ready. 
Have you thought any more about the favor I asked? I'd really like to go with you and assist you in the OR. You don't give up easily, do you? Sorry, but the answer is still no. Trust me, I have my reasons. You don't owe me anything. You need to think about your future. That's why I'm asking. I want to train alongside the world's best surgeon. I don't think you want to put your fate in the hands of a doctor who's about to lose his job. Go back to Concordia. You owe them an explanation. This may be the last time I walk these streets. I can't believe the hospital is actually closing. It's all so sudden. <sighs> well, I may not have made any major medical breakthroughs, but coming here wasn't a total waste. I suppose I'd better start thinking about what hospital I'd like to work at next. Oh, I almost forgot. I was gonna go get some coffee at Jake's. It's the hospital. Hello? Dr. Blaylock, are you nearby? Yes, why? There's been an accident at the construction site. We need your help. I'm on my way. Val! Over here! Where's the injured party? She's in no condition to be moved. We'll have to treat her at the scene. She's lodged beneath the frame of the church. Our equipment's already been loaded onto the helicopter. Elena? Dr. Vaughn, please let me come. I know I can help. You won't regret it. I can't let you do that. You're still... I'm fine. You've seen to that, Doctor. We can't waste any more time. We're taking off. I'm about to say, man. Can you guys get this done? Come on, Elena. It's better to be safe than sorry. Suit yourself, but it's your life that's on the line. I'll take my chances. Oh, uh, Sister Catherine. Oh, Doctor Blaylock. I'm I'm fucked up, Doctor Blaylock. Look at my face. M my chest. Uh, I can't. Don't worry, sister. We'll get you out of there. It's no use. The frame's too heavy. We won't be able to move it. Oh, the pain is unbearable. Oh, Lord. Please, help me. Don't give up, Sister Catherine. That's what you told me when I was down, so please hang in there. It's risky, but we'll have to leave her where she is for now. Elena, get the instruments and anesthesia ready. Okay. She's suffering from a chest contusion and cyanosis. We need to open her up immediately. All right, Valerie, you take the lead. I think that's really a sterile environment, but okay. Her chest must have been compressed when she was caught in the collapse. Her heartbeat sounds distant. She may be suffering from cardiac tamponade. If that's the case, then blood will collect in her pericardium and cause diastolic heart failure. We don't have time to transport her back to the hospital. If Valerie's diagnosis is correct, we need to drain the blood. I have to save her, no matter what. All right, Val, you lead, and I'll assist. I won't let you die, Sister Catherine. Okay, let's begin the operation. I can't believe we have to perform a thoracic surgery in a place like this. Let's hurry and operate so we can get her out of here. Please treat the external injuries before we move to her interior. All external injuries have been treated. Quickly, open her up. It's like we've used the ultrasound to locate pockets of blood while treating the other wounds. If there are the pericardium tore again, please treat it quickly. Please suture the incision closed before it begins hemorrhaging again. A blood pool with more blood. Doctor, the pericardium. Oops. Drain the blood and suture the tear. Quick. No, we can't continue. Call for backup immediately. The doctor's failure haunted them both 
bringing them much grief and sorrow. Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock, two doctors of exceptional talent, both left the field of medicine, never to fulfill their destinies. I mean, I know I'm supposed to feel guilty, but I don't. Especially since the dude sounds like that guy from uh, Metal Gear. I just expect him to go, Snake? Snake! Should we risk carrying her out now? Her vitals are still unstable, but... You're right. Considering her condition, it may be best to transport her now. This isn't good. Was there another collapse? Oi. No! Sister! If I can't save her life, I have no business calling myself a doctor. Spirit of life, guide my hands. Oh, she did it! I guess I can't do anything now. Come on! Come on! Finally able to free Sister Catherine, so I'm going to transport her to the hospital now. All right, let's head back then. She's made it through the worst of it, but we still need to watch for signs of crush syndrome. I'll monitor her condition. You did it, Valerie. I knew you had it in you, but I never imagined your gift would awaken so suddenly. I'm actually surprised myself. It wasn't the technique that was important for the healing touch. It was the opening of my heart. I finally understand what Dr. Montgomery was trying to say in his book. It was a difficult operation, but I feel like I can make my decision now. I want to continue working as a doctor. Yeah, I guess I've got some thinking to do myself. Have you finished packing? Yes, just now. I apologize for being so selfish. No worries. This is the hand fate's dealt us. As long as I remember that Concordia is just a stepping stone, it won't be that bad. But what about all the staff members here? What are they going to do? Oh, don't worry about us. We were able to negotiate a deal with Fairbanks Hospital. Everything is going to be transferred there. All of our patients, staff, and equipment. However, we may have a shortage of world-class doctors. My daughter and family have offered to look after me. So I'll be going to Seattle. The warmer climate should aid me in my recovery. 
If you happen to relapse, please contact me immediately. I'll drop whatever I'm doing and come operate on you. Thank you, Dr. Vaughn. But I'll do my best to make sure you won't have to. I gave Concordia a number of conditions under which Valerie and I would return, Elena. The most important being that you would be our assistant in the operating room. Dr. Vaughn! We expect nothing less than your very best. When I first arrived here at Montgomery Memorial, I absolutely hated it. But it's true. The greater the challenge, the more you appreciate the experience. Dr. Hoover was a strict but amazing teacher. Val. Yes? The operation that the professor is asking us to perform will be extremely difficult. If we're going to be successful, we'll have to work together. <laughs> what are you saying, Marcus? Of course we will. We're a team. A team that has endured the harshest of winters. Decided I don't care about the challenge. I just want to go through the story. Oh, how embarrassing. I can't believe I forgot it on my first day back. Oh, good morning, Marcus. Morning. What are you doing out here? I got stopped because I forgot my ID. I told them to call Billy at the reception desk, but he doesn't work here anymore. Well, it's been three years, so I can't say I'm surprised. Alright, I'll go straighten things out. Thanks. My, you're here early, Dr. Vaughn. Hey, Dr. Russo. It's been a long time. Hello, Dr. Blaylock. How was Montgomery Memorial? Um, well... It was certainly challenging. I have to admit, I was quite envious when I heard that you were going. I mean, who wouldn't want a chance to get in touch with nature? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I heard that you became chief surgeon. Congratulations. Ah, thank you. Of course, that was six months ago. Sorry, I've been a little out of the loop. Think nothing of it. I understand completely. After all, you were quite far from civilization. Oh, by the way, Professor Wilkins is expecting you to. He's waiting in his office on the fifth floor. All right, we'll go see him. I wonder why they asked you to return, seeing as how you've made little progress on your research. This hospital must be busier than I thought. I... Well then, if you'll excuse me. I see he's still as charming as ever. At least you know what to expect from him. Dr. Wilkins? Ah, welcome back. A monocle. I've been waiting for you for quite some time. Why the monocle? Seriously. Yeah, it took me a while to decide. Have you been bedridden? This disease can be debilitating, but the symptoms haven't progressed that far just yet. I'm in better spirits than I look. In fact, I even make the rounds occasionally. Of course, that's only for the time being. What's this disease you're referring to? Relax, my dear. The symptoms have temporarily subsided. Once I've made the necessary arrangements, I'll explain my situation in greater detail. After all, this is a confidential matter, even within these walls. It's a secret? Yes. 
You could say that I am both a patient as well as a research subject. For now, I'd like you to resume your normal duties. I'm sure Rousseau will find something for you to do. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Well, we'll get to work then. Call if you need anything. Marcus. You went against my orders and ran off to Alaska. But in the end, you were forced to return here. I won't reproach you, as long as you accept your fate. Is that what you want me to do? Indeed. Hi, Dr. Blaylock. Oh, hello, Elena. Are you starting today? Yes, I am. I actually just returned from a brief vacation. I need to hurry up and get back into the swing of things here. But it's hard because there are so many new faces. Valerie, are you in? We've got an operation to perform. Are you serious? Russo took the liberty of volunteering us. Nice guy, huh? I have a feeling this is just a taste of what's to come. All right, I'll go prep. Elena, can you assist? Definitely. I'll start setting up immediately. Allow me to begin the briefing for today's... Oh, am I making you nervous? Just pretend I'm not here. Please continue, Elena. The patient is suffering from a putrefactive lung abscess due to Staphylococcus aureus. Both the x-rays as well as the CAT scan support this diagnosis. You have two objectives for this operation. Look for a shadow using the ultrasound, make an incision, and drain the pus. And of course, excise. Is there anything you'd like to add? Oh no, I'll merely be observing. We'll try not to disappoint you. All right. Well then, let's start the... Let's begin the operation. We'll show Dr. Rousseau why we're here. It's festering. We need to drain the pus. Otherwise, it could lead to inflammation. It looks like there's a tumor. I recommend the Powell procedure. It may begin to fester once the tumor's been removed. We need to drain the pus, but doctor, it's becoming inflamed. I think you should inject some anti-inflammatory. so good but according to the diagnostics the affected area may be larger than it appears we need to use the magnification tool to take a closer look looks like the diagnostics were correct we've got more work to do
Doctor. The vitals. I know, I know. An easy one. Not much time for the last one. There it is. I know, right? That seems to be the last one. His vitals have stabilized. The affected areas have all been <laughs> Nine treated. seconds, I suck. Now let's close him up. Doctor. That's how it's done. Man, I thought I was going to have to redo that whole thing. Thank goodness we was on easy mode. Well, Dr. Vaughn, I see that you haven't allowed yourself to get rusty. Surprised? Well, you could have suffered from frostbite. <laughs> ah, yes. I must explain our new post-op procedures. Things have changed since you left. The chart needs to be submitted to the clerks on the second floor. And surgeons are required to attend a case review session every Tuesday morning. However, we won't be needing you there just yet. I'll call for you when it's deemed necessary. Well then, excuse me. Thank you.